going on guys? My name is Catan Blenders and I'm coming back to you guys with another Catan gameplay. All right, so it looks like I have the first placement on this board here today. And this is also my first game of Ranked on uh, Colonist.io here. So uh, please drop a like if you like the switch to Colonist or let me know if you prefer Catan Universe or what that, whatever the hell your preference is. Catan is Catan and I think I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more Colonist games. So first uh, spot that kind of stands out to me, of course, is this nine, uh, the 695. The other two ore spots are garbage. Um, so yeah, getting this nine ore would be, I think, pretty essential. I do want to point towards the three for one. However, I would be slightly worried about someone placing here because of someone trying to get onto the other nine ore spot. Um, and it's also a three for one, so it would be decent for someone as well. But in the case scenario that the three for one stays open, I think this would be uh, pretty good if I'm able to get that three for one. There is also this three for one over here, but it's two roads away rather than just the one road. And yeah, who knows, I could get cut off up there as well. Anyways, I'm gonna send it here, point the road up here, hope that we can take the three for one. Do think that's a pretty darn good first spot. Also guys, as this is my first uh, ranked game uh, on colonist.io here, I'm kind of figuring out the best way to set up my webcam in the corner here. Um, I know it's unfortunate that I have these ads here on the two sides of Colonist since I haven't uh, gotten the membership for it yet. I'm sure at some point I will be getting the membership for that so then I can get rid of these ads on the side there for you guys. I think it's definitely tricky for whoever is placing now, but... Oh! Wow, interesting. You're taking the 910 as... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's how desperate people are to get the ore this game, I suppose. I was thinking 8510 and try to get the, this 3 for 1, but it looks like I might be in a battle here with Blue to get this uh, 3 for 1 port. Yeah, there's that 8510 for, for green. Interesting road placement. I would have gone up to this 3 for 1. Now, placing here for uh, red, it is slightly awkward, but I do think they have some options. I think they, I would go full out two for one port strategy here. Go 693, try to get the wood port, and 843, try to get the sheep port. I think that wouldn't be bad, even though you will be missing out on both brick and ore. As soon as they settle on both ports, I think they would be looking pretty good. Now coming back around for me, all I'm looking for is wood and sheep, so any one of these spots here in the middle I think looks pretty good for me. Or of course 8-5-10, that would be glorious. Alright, so red starts off with 6-11-3, right in the middle there. I think sheep port strategy, that should be the way to go for red. Oh, okay, interesting. I guess they're uh, 692 here. Try to get this three for one port. And or the brick port. But I don't know. I think I would have placed a little bit differently in Red's position here. Also guys, let me know if you have any suggestions for me to improve this uh, format here on colonist.io. If you're happy with the placement of my webcam or not. Uh, just let me know any suggestions that you may have, as I am new to Colonist. I have played it previously, but it, it's been it's been a while since I've actually played it actively, so... Alright, so blue takes 5-4-11. Well, I think I pretty much have to take this. 8-10-3. I get really good sheep, really good wood. The alternative is 9-10-11, but of course 8-10-3 looks way better. And point... No, not to the sh not to the wheat port. I think I'd rather try to maybe eventually get to the sheep port. I think that would actually be pretty good. But before we just straight up take it, I want to consider everything. But I am I think I'm dead set on this spot here. I think it's obvious. There's uh, some pretty good expansion spots as well. I could do six, eleven, twelve, uh, four, three, eleven, eight, four, potentially. But I think my top priority is probably this 3-for-1 port. Try to beat blue to it. Which we should be able to with our rolls compared to blue. 
So let's send it here. And oh, let's uh, let's roll the dice. First roll of the game is a 12. Who would have thought that? Uh, I was gonna trade for brick, but yeah, nobody placed on a brick early on here, so no one has it. So I'm not even gonna try. Egg word says good luck all. Good luck, have fun, homies. Uh, second roll of the game is 11. Yeah, of course, people are gonna be asking for brick early on here. Where, oh, the other 11 roll is in the middle here, it's sheep. Seven roll, really, come on. Well, at least they steal from blue, so I'm uh, at least... Rock is going to be scarce. Yes, well, especially if this nine is going to be blocked. Yeah, man, there's still no uh, brick out there at all. So I think I got to pass. Sorry, meant to put it on the 12. Yeah, okay, they're uh, brick giver. Oh, I, I see brick giver turns into the actual icon here. That is kind of funny. And another seven roll here for green. So at least it comes off of the nine. Just don't take my damn brick here. Okay, well, I don't know why they're... I, I guess they're trying to not make enemies here. So I, I guess that somewhat makes sense, but it also kind of doesn't. That's kind of a waste of a seven roll, if you ask me. Shit. There's been absolutely no brick income. No sixes, no tens, so... I don't know what the hell to do here. I think we just gotta pass hope and hope for the brick roll. Unless we can do this. Honestly, I'd be happy to do this or something and then do a four for one trade. I know it's not ideal, but we are at seven cards. Gotta say the the trading system in Colonist is far superior than uh, Catan Universe. Okay, nobody wants to do a trade there. So, we're passing on seven cards here, hoping for the best. Alright, well, another wheat roll for me. That's a five. Bro, no one has brick. Wait, blue has brick? Oh, I guess blue has brick, maybe. Weird. The hell does this mean? Sage, cry... Uh, okay, he did a four for one for a brick. Okay. Surprised that blue didn't uh, build a road at all. Fuck! Now that is some bullshit. Um, I think I'll keep the extra sheep. Just because... Wheat is more important for me to get, I guess. Well, sorry, wheat is more likely for me to get, so, yeah. But of course, if they steal my wheat here, that is very not good. Hey, they keep stealing from blue, so I, at least I got that going for me early on here. Okay, they just bought a dev card and they pass. Alrighty then. Seven, okay. I feel like I want a gun for blue. Um, <laughs> just because, I mean, they are my biggest competition right now just to get this three for one port. So, uh, yeah, I mean, sorry, blue. No one has brick right now, so there's no one I can really steal from to try to take it from them. So I'll just try to screw over. Oh, yes! I knew blue had the brick. I I, I will. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't, but I did because I, I do remember they did the four for one. So I'm just going to straight up build that road right away. That was uh, pretty lucky for sure there. Damn. I spoke too soon by saying no one had brick. Of course, blue had the one. Yeah, now it's coming on my brick spot. Screw you. Still think I'm pretty favored to get the three for one port. Especially after I stole Blue's brick there, but you never know what could happen here. Wow, they use an aggressive knight here to block the nine ore. At least it's on the six, or sorry, at least 
The robber is off of my uh, brick there. That's a four roll, nothing for me. Okay, a 10. All we need is a brick now. We can't do any trades, so we have to pass. And I'm also thankful that when they stole from me, they didn't break up my uh, wheat and the sheep there. Hey, Blue isn't even trying to compete with me then. So that's uh, that gives me a little bit less stress. <laughs> Although I am 100% focusing on the three for one. I guess it kind of makes sense for Blue. Damn, okay, so who is that? Yeah, Green used a knight to block the six brick. And then finally, literally a six gets rolled right after. So that's uh, that's not very fun. Literally the first six of the game is blocked. So, I mean, I guess we can hope to get some sheep and then do a four for one trade somehow. Yeah, no brick so far this game, other than the one I stole from blue. Actually, no, 10 got rolled earlier, so I think they still have a brick there. Another seven. If you steal from me, please just steal my sheep, man. That's all I ask. Also, wheat port is really good for green. Because they have a eight and five for wheat. Okay, they steal a sheep from me. Oh, I've seen far slower starts. And another seven! Come on, man. Ridiculous. And now they're blocking the f Oh my god, steal my goddamn wood. For real, man? And another seven! Jesus Christ! That's three sevens in a row here. Okay. S steal from green, please. Okay, there, there he goes. But now I need to get my wood back. Okay. Fuck. If only they stole the sheep from me there instead of the wood. I doubt this trade is going to go through, but I have to ask. Yeah, that's a no-go. Alright, well, I have to pass. Hope for a 10 roll now. A 2? So there's some ore for these mofos. And a 9, okay. I mean, I'll take the ore, but I'm really looking for the wood. Ooh, I can, uh, I can offer ore for wood. Let's, let's do that. Okay, they take it. I could have offered sheep, but I doubt they would have accepted that. So I'd rather just get that definite deal there. Now another six roll, so we have an extra brick in hand. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good. We'll settle here this turn. And then going forward... Oh, wow, blue gets cut off. Oh, get wrecked, blue. And they buy a dev card on top of that. So I think red is looking pretty darn good. And here's a seven. I am definitely done blocking blue. Blue has gotten uh, enough hate this game. Uh, I want to put it on here, but I also don't. Green. Fuck. Okay, I'll put it on here, steal from green. I feel like you have no time to decide where to put the robber. Like, you only have 15 seconds, which is pretty pretty quick. All right, three for one time, hell yeah. So next up for me, city here looks pretty good. But also if I'm able to expand to, you know, three, four, eleven, or six, eleven, twelve, I think I'll take that as well. Give me a two for one and that's a deal. Yeah, that's a, that's a no deal though, unfortunately. Oh, he just bought a dev card. Okay, another four roll. 
four only benefits blue. Also, dev cards are looking pretty good. If I can roll either five or three. Damn. Okay, let's try to trade for wood here. I'd be happy to build a road. If not, I'm, I'm gonna consider porting away. Okay, let's do it. Green, sure. I'd rather do it with blue, of course, if blue wants to. Red is asking for a greedier trade. Yeah, that's a no-go. I'll just do this with green. Where do I build to? I think uh, 6, 11, 12 might be slightly better. Then the 4, 3, 11. I think it's, yeah, it is slightly better for production. Although it's kind of debatable. Yeah, I'll do this one for now. And then we'll pass. Ooh, nine roll. Okay, all we're looking for is a couple wheat. Or actually, just one wheat, and then we can port away my sheep for the other wheat that we need to, for the city. Give me wheat instead, and that's a most definite deal. I would actually do this two for one. Oh, there's no such offer. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's a that's gonna be a no go. I was gonna say I can offer them like two cards for the one to take me under eight, but I suppose they didn't have the wheat. Okay, so Okay, they did a trade with someone there, which was able to give them a city, so that's pretty darn good for green. Green is looking scary. I think I like the look of blocking uh, the eight wheat here when I'm able to. That's tempting, but I mean, I'd rather focus on getting uh, the city or second settlement right now. Eh. I would do that, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I pass here for the time being. Ooh, okay, you know what? Sure, you've got me convinced. If they have road building and cut me off, that'll suck ass, though. Road building up here and settle? Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't think about that, because they are sitting on one dev card. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's screwed up. <laughs> Miscounted the cards that uh, Red had in his hand. Okay, so I'll, I'll take it. They just, oh, they use a knight. Oh, they don't even, they didn't do that trade with me there. They did it with blue instead. Blocking the eight sheep here. Steal from green. Come on, buddy. Okay, this is probably a city then for red. Oh no, they just buy another dev card. And a road out here to the three for one port. Okay, come on. Ooh, how I want some of that wheat. Uh, come on, green. Okay, with red? Absolutely. Okay, let's just do the one for one there. With, uh, red. Let's do a three for one for this. Yep. And... Let's build our first ever city on a ranked colonist.io game. You guys ready for this? We built this city. All right, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, next up is probably the settlement here now, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely asking for some greedy trades here, but if they go through, then it's a Big bonus. You know, I'll take that. Gets me a wood and an extra ore, so I'm happy with that. If we are able to roll a five, then we get another city, or we could settle. Settling might be the safer play. Oh, damn, look at that. Okay, with a green, ah, man. Let's try to be greedy here. If they accept the two for one, then that's super good. Okay, you know what? Screw it, I'll, I'll just say yes. This might give green another city or just more dev cards. 
Okay, they just buy another dev card with that. Do have to watch out for them, though. Damn, another nine! Holy! All right, red is able to settle there. It does look like red will be the one to get the largest army. Okay, what do we do here? I think settlement, for sure, over the city. Uh, let's try some trades here first. I might do this, depending on who accepts this offer. I don't think I would do it with red. Okay, nobody's interested in that. I think we gotta settle just to secure the spot. And then probably city up one of my following turns. Damn, it's tricky. Okay, you know what? Screw it, let's do it. And we're gonna do this. And pass, I think. Just the three for one, yeah, pass. All right, let's go. I think it possibly could have been better to get the city, but I didn't want to leave this uh, this spot hanging here any longer. Because you never know. Say Red did pull a road building card, I could have easily gotten cut off there, which would have been very tragic. And look at that, we already have the city for next turn anyway. Assuming things go smoothly here. So yeah, I think Red is probably the scariest. They're close to largest army. They're also close to connect up here for the longest road. So that could give them a big boost in uh, victory points and whatnot. But also green, I think, does look dangerous with their wheat port. So I gotta keep an eye out on both of these characters here. Okay, they, they're making use good use out of their wheat port. And they're playing an aggressive knight to block the nine there. Yo, I'll do that, absolutely. Gets me two dev cards. I know I'm trading more with green here, but... Hey, I'll take it. So this way on my turn... Oh, that's tragic that that nine is blocked. We'll build the city, and we'll buy a dev card. And see where we go with that. Okay, three for one for brick here for red. They're continuing to the 6-3, it looks like. Ooh, excellent roll. Okay, we're definitely building our second city here and then probably just buying a dev card. So let's just do that. We built this city. Let's buy another dev card. Let's port away our brick. Ooh, road building card. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just, let's just go to town on the dev cards. Anything is going to be good for me. And what is this? You're, you're plenty as well. Okay, so no knights. I think I would have definitely liked a knight just to have uh, some backup and to get this damn robber off of my property here. But road building is going to be good. I can get to the 3411 and, you know, plan on getting longest road or something like that. So four, and a six roll there, I'll take it. Yeah, red is kind of looking like the one to get longest road. So I do need to watch out for that. Oh, here's a settlement probably for red, yep. Yeah. So red is now maxed out on their settlement. Ooh, look at that, a lucky 12 roll, I will take it. So now the question is what do I do? Probably use road building, open up a couple settlement spots. What's an option as well as just poking a road here and here? Um, I do have three settlements left to build, so that is an option. And then next turn I could try to settle settle or something. This way I wouldn't be going for longest road. You know what, let's do that. Let's open up two settlement spots for me. So one right there, one right here, and then we're gonna pass. Next turn we can use the Year of Plenty. Oh, pass there. We'll use the Year of Plenty. Uh, maybe settle twice on my upcoming turn here, if we're able to. Another six roll. Four for one here for blue, for a wood. Yeah, they're building outward. Yeah, blue has been screwed this game, basically. 
Ever since they got cut off in the middle here, and since I was able to snag that three for one, their game was done. Oh shit! They <laughs> they just used a monopoly on wheat and only stole one wheat. Okay, I had no wheat in hand, so that's fine by me. Oh, I'll take it. All right, we avoid the seven rolls, and now we got a crazy turn up ahead of us. So what do we want to do? Probably settle, settle, and do something else. We're looking for... Uh, let's just do some three-for-ones first here. So we'll do that. And we're looking for two wood and one more wheat. Yeah, let's just use Year of Plenty right now and do a couple settlements, I think. So let's do it for wood, wheat... All right, we'll do another three for one here for another wood. Take that. Build a couple settlements, why don't I? Actually, I'm pretty sure I could have taken the longest road here. I'm just getting carried away with uh, all of my uh, <laughs> crazy cards I have in hand. Um, so, what's... I guess just a couple cities to win. Why don't I try that? I, I think we got this game in the bag, unless... Oh shit, yeah. Dude, Red could absolutely sneak something in. Which would not be good. Let's just do this. And pass. I don't think that was the best use of all my cards there. Let me know what you guys would have done on that turn. I should have planned that out definitely a bit better. Because I could have connected up here to get Longest Road. That would have been two victory points, but then I would have needed an extra two victory points just to get the win. And I feel like Red would have been able to take the longest road from me if I did connect up here, so... I don't know, I'll have to review that turn and see what the best options were. Damn, okay, so two dev cards there for, uh, green. Damn, another six roll. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, red connects up for longest road here. No largest army, please. Because if red takes largest army, they win, I think. They would have enough cards to win. Oh god, red wins, I think. Fuck. All they need is a city or they pull for the win. Jesus Christ, man. I absolutely spoke too soon here. At least they take a brick from me. Hopefully that doesn't benefit them. Because, yeah, they're forced to either build a city or settlement. This, uh, this game is absolutely turning out to be a lot closer than I thought. Oh, God. GG. Yeah, that's a city. Fuck! No! Damn, dude! Ah, uh, fuck, what else? Okay, I gotta review that turn and see what I could have done. Red just snuck in the win there by taking longest road and uh, largest army. Same turn, building a city. Jeez, man, well, GG. Say if I did connect up here, would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I still think Red would have been able to just easily take that longest road from me anyway. So that was just unfortunate. It was unfortunate that Red got the exact knight that they needed that turn. Damn, dude. Well, I gotta give Red credit for that. Dice stats. Not a single three roll this whole game. Good chunk of sevens, good chunk of sixes. Yeah, I definitely got a little carried away on that turn there, when I just started going ham on everything. So yeah, that is quite unfortunate. Alright, so that was my first placement game. If you guys enjoyed today's Catan gameplay, please be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.